Today I'm going to be creating a fun page for my planner, so if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cecilia and welcome to Creatively Gracious. Today I'm going to be making a fun page for my November planner and I wanted to bring you guys along so that you guys can see how I'm making this. Before I get started, I'm going to bring in this this uh, Dollar Tree mat. You can see it's kind of folded up here. Let's see how much it glares. It does glare a lot, so um, I don't know if I want to use that. Maybe I'll bring in something else. Let me bring in a piece of paper. Let me grab a piece of paper real quick. Okay, I'm going to bring in this piece of paper instead because I don't want the glare to be showing. But what I have is I have these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. I have this stencil from Dollar Tree. Oh, let me turn it around. I have some vellum paper that I've already cut to classic size and I've already punched. So we're going to use one of those. I, did, I made two just in case, but we're going to use one of them. So I'm going to turn this over here. Oh, and I also have some inks because I'm going to be inking this stencil in and I have my little sponge too from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to take these stencils out because I'm thinking of doing this stencil and I know it's too big for this, but you can also use just pieces of the stencil. You don't have to use the entire stencil. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have my ink here. And you know, I don't know how I should line this up because I didn't think about it being straight, but let me get some washi tape so I can, so I can tape it down because I don't want it to move until I want it to move. Okay, so I have this colorful, colorful one here. So I'm just gonna tape this down. And see, I don't even know. I think that's a little crooked because I can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get it as straight as possible. And if it's not perfect, I'll be okay with that. So I'm just going to go over this like this and see if it's coming out. And I'm using the black. I did want a teal color, but I don't have teal ink. Actually, I, sh I shouldn't say that. I probably do have some, but I forgot to take it out. Because now that I think about it, I have some other inks. I don't know, is this working? Because it doesn't seem like it's getting in there. Maybe it is. feels like I don't usually stamp too much so I was trying to do something different so if you have any stamping tips be sure to leave them in the comments because I'm not one to stamp a lot see now I can see before it seemed like it was just getting around it but now I can see that it's getting inside the letter It just took a little time and it might not be all the way in there just yet. I might have to go over it a little bit more, but I will fast forward through this so you don't have to see me trying to get these letters in here. Maybe we'll see. Sometimes it's fun to see the entire process and you guys can always fast forward if that's the case right if you want to see it fast forward okay so that looks good now I'm hoping I'm going to cover this up real quick so it doesn't dry out uh, let's see how it looks I'm hoping that it's straight because that's what I was most worried about is it being straight Oh, it doesn't look too bad. It does look like I have some, I got a little bit there. So now I'm wondering, I need to clean this off. Okay, so then I'm gonna put thankful and 
I'm going to try to get it the same way there. I don't think that's exactly in the center either. I'm going to, let me put it down just a tad bit. Okay, so we're going to put this one here. Let's hope that it's straight. Whoops. I'm trying not to get it to move. Whoops, that's too close. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops. Oh gosh, I hope that didn't get on my paper. And I could have used Happy Planner stickers. Now that I think about it, I could have used some stickers for this. But because I had this stencil, I thought I would try it out. And because I don't use inks that much, that's why I thought I'd go with the inks. But you can always use stickers too. You don't have to use stencils and, a ink, and ink. Stickers would work perfectly well for this. Okay, I think that one's done. Let's pull this one up and then we will do one other one. Okay, that looks good. And then we are going to do the blessed right under here. Like that. Okay, let's do this one and then we'll finish decorating it. Oh, I see. I think I wasn't putting enough pressure. That's why it wasn't getting in the letters. But if you put a lot of pressure, I see that that works a lot better. So just a little tip that I've learned just right now in this process. You just put a little bit more pressure when you, st when you push down here and it will go into the letter. And I wanted to mention all of this stuff that I'm using is from the Dollar Tree, except for the vellum. The vellum is not from the Dollar Tree. I picked that up on Amazon some time ago, and uh, I've had it, and I thought maybe I could use it for November in my planner. So that's what gave me the idea. And these stencils were perfect, so I thought I would make something with it. So let's see how this one turned out. Okay, that looks good. And you see, I'm gonna have to clean this off, so I'm gonna set it somewhere where it won't get anything dirty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these rub-on transfers. These are also from the Dollar Tree. And the thing about these rub-on transfers is if you want to use like just a single set, it's best to cut them out individually and rub them on that way so that you don't rub on pieces of the other one. I, I used these last year in my planner too. So I learned that, but because I'm going to be, you know, creating this page, I was thinking that I might cut them out like maybe in half here. Well, no, I may just cut them out. Um, let me see how I can do this here. So what you want to do, and this may take a little bit longer, but what you want to do is you want to cut. So you're going to cut each individual one out. Like this. Okay. And then let me grab my little, my little, I don't know what this is. Um, it's like a little scraper, but I use it to push down stickers. And that's also from the Dollar Tree. So then what you do is you peel the backing and then I'm going to set this one right here. Whoops. And it might not be straight, but we're going to work with that. And then you just scrape it down. And then to check that it's all down, what you want to do is you want to lift it slowly. And you can just see, like, if it's not lifting right, then you just keep scraping like there may be some areas you need more pressure
And you know, it's probably better. I'm going to go ahead and bring this. Whoops. There's something there. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in because this thing here has, uh, it's kind of rigid. So maybe that's why it's not, it's not working. So it's better to put it on a, on a straight flat surface. And because my background has a little bit of ridges, it's probably not catching those little edges. Now here, see, you can see there's a little piece right there that didn't come up. And you can just see it on the, on the page when you're lifting here. And all you have to do is push it back down and scrape, a, scrape it again. And it'll come off. It doesn't mess it up. So that's how you do that. And there's just certain pieces. See, like right here. And voila. So that's that. And then let me see what else I want to put in here. I want to put some more. So I'm going to cut out this one here. And I think this one I want to put up here on the top. So let's see if we can get it kind of straight up here. Yep, I think like that. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just scrape it. Just go over it and scrape it. And I wanted a piece of vellum because vellum is just so pretty in your planner when you put it in there. It just gives it this different look. And it's been a while since I've made, oh no, I made some vellum pages for my faith. I was going to say it's been a while since I made some pages with vellum, but I did make some faith pages and they came out really pretty, but those I printed on. I, I printed on the vellum. I didn't do these rub-ons. So that's why I wanted to do something different with this this here oh, there's a piece right here that can't come off okay that looks pretty and you see some of this ink right here but i think i'll be able to take that off with an eraser so i'm not too worried about that and then let's see which other one maybe i wonder if this one will fit up here Let's try this one. I think this one will go good up here on top. Yeah, I think this one will go good up here. I'm hoping that Dollar Tree comes out with some more of these um, rub-on transfers for Christmas because uh, they actually work really well. And if they have some Christmas design, that would be really cute to make some vellum pages for Christmas. So I am hoping for some. I didn't see any last year. Uh, last year I only saw these fall types of rub-on transfers. And I know they have some letters too that I have. I haven't used them yet, but they have some letters too that are rub-on transfers. We'll turn it this way and see if I can lift it. Oh, that one looks good. Yeah, so see how cute that is? And again, I'm going to take the eraser to that black ink there. So let's go ahead and do maybe one or two more. I think I like this one, but I also want to put some more blue. Oh, we already have that one there. So maybe this, um, maybe this single one we'll put on the bottom. There are some cute leaves. I think I'm going to leave the little leaf in there as well. So let's put this one here. Actually, I'm going to set it right here because I might put another one because we have we have quite a bit. 
Uh oh, where did my scraper go? And what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't scrape that one that you already have down. So be careful when you're scraping close to the next one. And if you guys hear any background noise, it's my grandson. He's he's out there playing and I can hear some noise. So that's just him being a kid. <laughs> you may not be able to hear him, but just in case. Okay, this one needs a little bit more. I got ink all over my fingers. I wonder why this one's... This one is giving me a little trouble trying to come off. I don't know why that is. Let's see. Okay, there's that. Okay, I just wasn't scraping it well. That looks cute. I do want to put some of this little stuff in between here. So I got to decide which one. I think maybe this one I'll put in the middle. Because that one looks like it'll fit there. I'm going to set this one over here. I was going to put it in the middle, but now I think I want it here. Okay, I do like the way this one looks right here. So let me take this off. Let's see if we got it all. Yeah, this one needs a little spot there. And you can tell when you pick it up because it's just a little bit harder to pick up. Not harder, but you can see that it doesn't lift right. Okay, that doesn't look bad. That looks good. Okay, let's see. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I want to put something else over here. So I got to decide which one do I want there since I have. Maybe I'll put this orange one here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this other orange one right here next to this. Right there. Okay. okay, so let's see what else we can put. We need something over here, so I'm thinking these little ones. I think I'm gonna put one of these off to this side. Ooh, that one has florals, that one's cute. I didn't notice that. So I think this one I'm gonna set right here. stay there. Okay, that looks cute. So I think I just need a couple small ones here. Maybe I'll put a white one there. Maybe I'll put two, maybe I'll put these up in the middle. Like I have these three here. So let's see what we can do with these three. So maybe I'll put the big one in the middle with that feather. That will look cute. So let's take this off. Now that looks good. And 
and I have never inked vellum so I want to mention I'll have to let you guys know how it holds up I didn't think about the vellum and if the ink would stay I should have tried it but I didn't I just had this idea and thought I'd go for it so I will keep you guys posted and let you know how the ink holds up on the vellum Okay, that's looking cute. Now we're just gonna put these two little pumpkins. I think I'll put the blue one on that side. Or should I put the white one? No, let's put the blue one on this side. I probably could have put a bigger blue one. Let's see here real quick. I think I will put this white one over here. It's kind of like a gray white. I'm going to set that one down here like that. Oop, there we go. It's hard to see that one, but it, it it's cute. And then maybe I'm thinking maybe a bigger blue one. So either I think this one that's in the middle here, I think I like that one. I think I'll set this one here and I left the little feather or the is it a feather or a leaf I keep calling it a leaf but it might be a feather either way it works either way it's pretty so yeah I think that looks cute and I might bring in some more of those leaves or feathers whatever they are no they're leaves I think and add them in here. Okay. So that looks really pretty. So let me see, I'm gonna cut these leaves out. There's just a few left. I think I think these I want to put maybe right there to fill in that space. Whoops, I messed that one up. Nope, that looks good. Let's see, did I have some more? I thought there was some more. Here's another small leaf, so I'm going to take that one out. I'm trying to decide if I... No, I think I'll leave it like that. I was trying to decide if I wanted something else here with it. But I think I'll just leave it like that. So let me turn this around. I think this is going to be the last one. Whoops. Did it come off already? No, oh, it did. That was fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, let me see here. I have, whoops. I'm hoping that I can take some of this ink off with this eraser that I have. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's working because I don't know why I smeared this one here, but I did. I think it came out really cute, even with the little smudges. And you can't see it too bad. I mean, you can see these that I did here. Okay, guys, I'm back. So um, I tried to clean this up a little bit. And what I did is I put the stencil back and I inked it up a little bit because I had messed it up here on the S and the D. There is a little smearing there, but I'm okay with that. I tried to erase it as best I could. So that is one tip. Be sure to let the, the ink dry before you start putting the rub-ons on and also make sure that your hands are cleaned from the ink because I think that's how I started getting the ink on the paper. But I was able to clean it up a bit and I added this extra punk in there. I had some, some rub-ons left over so I had more than enough to use for this project. But I like the way it came out and I think it's going to be a great addition to my November planner. 
and uh, I'll let you know how this ink holds up. I think it'll be fine. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay creative, be gracious, and I will share again with you soon.